Distractions. How do you avoid getting distracted when you're learning how to program? Let's see if we can figure that out in today's video. Welcome back, my name is Tim Bachaka with another programming tip of the day. And the question was, how do you avoid getting distracted when you're learning how to program? Now, distractions can be a huge problem when you're learning how to program, particularly if you haven't uh, worked in an office or you haven't done that sort of book work or brain work in the past. You've uh, maybe uh, had another career or you just never really sat down and studied before. It can be very easy to get distracted. And that's because your mind can play tricks on you. Your mind wants to be somewhere else. And uh, to get around that, firstly, I recommend having a plan of attack. So if you just uh, figure I'm gonna learn how to program it and uh, you haven't made any effort to reduce distractions, chances are pretty high you're going to get distracted at some point of it. Unless you're uh, almost a superman, superman or superwoman, you're going to find that uh, you'll get distracted. So what you really need is a plan and it doesn't need to be a complex plan. It can be a simple plan like, uh, we'll, go, well let's go through some of the common things. Firstly, mobile phones or cell phones as they're called in America, great source of distraction, of getting distracted. So eliminate that. Turn your phone off, move it to another room, put it on silent. One, one or all of those things. That's a great way to minimize things. Now, if you're programming on a computer, when you're going through the course, watching videos and uh, programming along or whatever it is, make sure that you've got your other applications closed down. So if you've got Facebook in a window so you can keep up to date with the latest messages, that's probably setting yourself up for failure. You can do without Facebook or Twitter or whatever communication uh, uh, programming that you're actually, program that you're actually using to keep up to date with things. Turn that off at least for while you're programming for your particular session so you don't get distracted because it's very easy to get distracted. Next, after you've done that, so you've only really got the programs that you need open to do your training. So if you've got, uh, if you're following on a video course, for example, make sure you've got to, or you should only have your browser tab open so that uh, you can actually watch the video and the programming the program that you're actually using on your computer to follow along and type in the code. You shouldn't have anything else open. Next thing, get your family, friends, or whoever you live with, if you live with other people, get them invested in your journey to learn how to program. So tell them what you're trying to do. Look, I'm trying to learn how to become a programmer here. Can you please give me some space? I'm gonna be studying now for the next uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hour, whatever it is. Can you just um, give, me some, can you give me some space so that I can actually do that? and make sure that they're aware of it, and then people will try and help you out. Most people, if they know that someone else is doing something, trying to achieve a particular goal, they can be quiet for a period of time to help you avoid to avoid distractions. Because the last thing you obviously want is to be working away and being in the zone programming and find someone's knocking on your door and you know, asking you to go to the shop to get some milk or whatever the case might be. So get other people invested in that as well. The other thing that I would recommend is that in today's busy society, look, we're all busy doing hundreds of things. There's so many things that are distracting us. So it's probably not realistic to try and find a block of six hours to study. So what you probably have to do is try and reduce the number of the, uh, the actual time that you spend per session. So in other words, don't look for a six hour session or a three hour session of programming. Maybe you can find 30 minutes and do 30 minutes of study seven days a week or six days a week. That's actually gonna be uh, more productive for you as a rule than trying to find five or six hours and getting distracted after one hour, getting frustrated and stopping and then moving on. So I would recommend you, you look for short periods of time and study and, and focus for that 30 minutes or whatever the period of time is. And from there, you can always look at increasing it if things are going well and taking all these other things away uh, taking all the way all the other distraction potentials should give you uh, get you set up and enable you to help by uh, power through and complete your programming learning or your programming training. Alrighty, so I hope that helped. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you're ready to look at the next tip, click on up here and you can check that out. If you're interested in coding specific programming videos, click on the link in the bottom left hand corner. Consider subscribing by clicking on the link up here and I'll see you soon.